Just about 12 months ago, the Richmond Times Dispatch moved into its newly renovated fourth floor here at 300 East Franklin Street. And two days after we moved up, the pandemic made us all go home. And so for the last 365 days about, nobody's really been able to enjoy the space that we, that we created after this building was built in 1999, but then renovated in 2000, early 2000, and now, the pandemic, as, as so much has changed in our life, has changed the way we've worked here at the Richmond Times Dispatch remotely, working from our kitchen tables, our couches, our bedrooms, um, but rarely the office. And I'm sure a lot of, a lot of folks are in the same particular boat. The last 365 days have been um, game-changing and life-changing for all of us here at the Richmond Times Dispatch. We've not only covered it, we've lived it. We've had people who, reporters and editors and photographers and designers and copy editors who have lost loved ones and try to figure out how to, how to have a funeral in this time. We've had people miss their kids' graduations, graduations done virtually, proms canceled or postponed. Uh, there's been so many things that have changed our lives that we've had to cover over the summer trying to cover the, the, the protest of, of racial injustice after the killing of George Floyd and having to protect our reporters and photographers, but also deal with the emotions that that caused as well in a pandemic that has been so isolating and life-changing with that on top of it has just been something that we've also had to navigate along with you from the lens of covering it, but also trying to live it and process it and navigate it. And so it'll never be the same, but we've really had to figure out a way to become normal and try to cover it in a normal way, knowing that we'll never be normal again. So here at the Richmond Times Dispatch, hopefully one day soon, we'll be able to get back and, and fill these desks with, with our journalists and our advertising reps and our, and our production people and, and hopefully get back to whatever normal looks like. But until then, we'll enjoy the, the, the chance that we do get to bring you guys the news every day here at richmond.com and in the pages of the Richmond Times Dispatch.